This video is to help you revise vascular tissue, that plant tissue, and we're going to learn or revise xylem and phloem, the two forms. So we'll start with xylem. There's two types of xylem cell, xylem tracheids and xylem vessels. The function of xylem is to transport water and dissolved minerals upwards through the plant. Xylem has an additional function, support. So let's take a look at xylem tracheids. These particular cells have pointed or tapered ends. Their walls are reinforced with lignin and this lignin is often laid down in particular types of patterns, for example, spiral patterns. There are holes in the walls and in the ends called pits and the water can pass through these and tracheids are hollow and dead. All xylem is dead. The tracheids will be stacked on top of each other and side by side and you can see that the water can move inwards through the pits from tracheid to tracheid and also through those end pits as well. So let's take a look at the other type of xylem cell, the xylem vessels, and you'll notice from the picture that those pits are visible, so they're in both the tracheids and the vessels. So what can we say about the xylem vessels? Well, first of all, you'll immediately notice from the diagram that they're wider than the tracheids and not pointy. So they have thick walls, they're wider than tracheids, there are no end walls, and so this is why they form long, hollow, continuous tubes. The walls are also reinforced with lignin. They have the holes called pits. They are hollow and dead, and they're much more efficient at transporting water than tracheids because they're wider and they don't have any end walls. So here's an alternative diagram of a xylem vessel and you can see all of those key features. You can see the spiral lignin, so the lignin laid down in that spiral pattern within the wall. You can see that the xylem vessel has thick walls. You can see the holes called the pits and you can see also that it has a hollow lumen. And it's important to note that the lignin has a supportive function. So let's move on to phloem, the other vascular tissue. Firstly, it's important to know that phloem does not contain lignin. Phloem is made up of living cells and its function is to transport food. Each cell is known as a sieve tube or a sieve tube element and within that cell the cytoplasm is pushed to the side. Each one of these has a companion cell which keeps the sieve tube element alive and substances can move up and down within phloem, within those sieve tubes. So here is a transverse section of phloem. When this appears on the exams, it's usually as a photograph or a very simple diagram, often not that clear. And one of the features which is not very recognisable often is the vacuole there. So make sure you can recognise that. There are key labels that you must include, the sieve plates, the companion cell and the sieve tube element. When you're revising xylem and phloem, the best thing to do is to focus on diagrams. They're so important and often can be tricky. So hopefully this video has helped you do some revision on xylem and phloem. The most important thing is to use your book, to do exam papers and to check the official marking schemes. Good luck.